Hello and welcome to Quartz Light, your car brochure channel and in today's episode, the 1995 Honda CRX. Welcome back and Quartz Light, if you're new to the channel, we're here on YouTube looking at car brochures from around the world for the 60s, 70s. 80s and 90s sometimes beyond that as well so if you're interested in cars and car brochures please consider subscribing anyway we've been looking at a 1995 full range brochure for honda and we've arrived at the honda crx now now 1995 will mean we're into the third generation crx so let's have a look at that now and here it is the 1995 third generation Honda CRX. I love the proportions of this. You always kind of like think it's a mid engine car, but of course, that's not the case. It's a front engined uh, car based, of course, on the Civic platform. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the text and then we'll look at some of these interesting images. So it starts by saying, for pure exhilaration and the sheer pleasure of open top driving, this CRX delivers a style and excitement that few sports cars can match blending innovative technology for outstanding performance and an audacious design for eye-catching attention the crx opens up a new era for sports car enthusiasts bit of an unusual really start really to this um look at the crx because really it kind of like makes you think this is a, a new car and of course we're up to the third generation now and even the third generation came out in 1992 for the 93 model year and went till 1998 so not really a new car by this time and i seem to remember these sold quite well i saw quite a few of these little crx's running around like I say, very much looks like it should be a mid-engine car, really, shouldn't it, from that sort of profile. But we'll see. It's all down to this top. Um, but we'll have a look at that now. I think this is kind of the feature you kind of think of when you think about these CRXs. This quite unusual way to remove that little uh, hard top. And as you can see, it's not a great deal of a top that it has to remove, but it gets this huge sort of bulky sort of like electronic transformer style way of removing that hard top and lower it into this boot which pretty much takes most of the boot space up by the looks of it it also kind of like makes out that they all come with this but in fact um, there is a manual roof and this would have been like an optional extra to have this particular roof manual roof um it does tell about tell you about later on so we'll see it mention it later but like i say from the pictures it kind of like makes out that they all have this feature so a clever little feature but like i say makes it not the most practical vehicle in the in in the world by how much boot space that mechanism takes up to gain not very much really i mean you could have a sunroof and almost get the same sort of open top feeling i guess but i guess these type of vehicles they're all about design they're all about looks aren't they and it looks a very interesting car for sure so yeah just moving in on that mechanism can't be much boot space one after all that's been put in there the manual version incidentally you just actually physically pick this up take it off pop it in like a boot ledge and it's got like an extra little fold in there i think that's the more practical one i think that gives you more boot space this certainly seems to take a lot of space up incidentally this version of the crx i think in some countries i'm kind of like thinking about north american market they actually call it the del sol i presume because you know open top mount motoring sunshine etc so looking at little different sections of this main image the rear looks almost like comic look like doesn't it with these very large almost like out of proportion rear lights that's certainly interesting i do particularly like these honda alloy wheels i think proportionally they're a nice size compared to the car and then the front of course with this quite a curvy sort of front headlight and like i say whenever i see it as a whole 
I really see it like it almost should have a mid-engine when you can see it from them proportions. But like I said before, um, it's all about storing that um, uh, roof away. We also get this very tiny, tiny little image of the interior. Lots of black plastic, unfortunately, nothing overly exciting there. I did notice these unusual switches at the top here on the CRX. Doesn't tell me what these switches are. I presume the one in red is probably a hazard warning, maybe. Next one, maybe a light. I'm not 100% sure, but very unusual placement of them two switches. So major equipment now, and we will look at the uh, technical specs in a moment, but major equipment, it does come with a VTEC engine, interestingly enough, programmed fuel injection, ABS anti-lock brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, removal roof, central locking and power steering. We also get electric side and rear windows, um, electric door mirrors, adjustable steering wheel, radio cassette player with security flap, tinted windows, remote fuel lid opener and side impact beams. So it mentions the engine um, in here and it also tells you about the different roof types. It starts by saying the CRX captures the spirit of open top motoring with its original design and advanced 16 valve VTEC engine. It's equipped and contoured sports seats, power steering, all round electric windows, body coloured bumpers and for added safety side impact beams. The highlight though is undoubtedly the ingenious electrically removable roof which transforms the CRX into a sporty open top car within seconds. If you prefer, the CRX is also available with a manual roof. This can be quickly and conveniently removed by unclipping the two catches which lock it in position. The roof then can be conveniently stored away in the, in the larger, more spacious boot. So really the manual version is probably the more practical way um, of owning this car. So specifications time now and I've left up the models that we've already looked at the NSX, Legend, Shuttle and Prelude which we've looked at in the previous episodes. The bottom there is the CRX so as we move along always remember the CRX is the bottom of this list. So the engine type, yeah, it's a VTEC 16 valve inline four cylinder, of course, fuel injected and 1590 cc engine with a maximum power of 123 bhp. It also gives you the maximum torque figure there at the bottom and then the dimensions both length, width and height. CRX is the bottom one remember. It also gives you an idea of the tyres this particular model uses. Also a nice comparison with the other models we've already featured. So again the bottom of the list there we can see it's only available as a manual no automatic option. It also showing us there compared to all the other figures um, this particular car is the most economical Honda we've looked at so far um, but of course it's a very small vehicle. So the Honda CRX, probably not the most practical uh, small car around, but certainly a very interesting one. I do like the proportions, and I also particularly like these alloy wheels and the proportional size to the vehicle. Certainly an interesting little car. So what's coming next week then, you ask? Well, next week we're up to the Accord, starting with the Coupe. We'll probably look at all the Accords in one. Obviously, we've got the Coupe, the Saloon, and on the next page is the Aero Deck, like kind of like the um, estate version. We'll probably look at all those in next week's episode. So there we go, the little Honda CRX, an interesting little car of the 90s. Do you remember these little cars? Please jot in the comments if you do. I always enjoy reading real world experiences. Thank you so much for watching Course Light today. Many more episodes coming in the near future, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps the channel. Once again, thank you for watching. You do take care, and we'll see you very soon. All the best, and goodbye.